thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. My name is John Clayton. What a pleasure it is to be here with you tonight playing this music with these amazing musicians. Give it up for Aaron Deal on piano. <laughs> Sherelle Cassidy on saxophone. Sean Jones on trumpet. Sylvia Quinca on drums. Wow. And of course, we are guided by that spirit and the inspiration that that master Clark Terry gave all of us. Uh, yes, give it up. St. Louis, Clark Terry. So we're going to be uh, not only playing his music, but uh, kind of letting you in on how he affected our lives. Um, and all of us were affected by the man and his music, which is a pretty awesome thing. I know that I... Um, I remember uh, first hearing this record uh, when I was a teenager, Oscar Peterson Trio plus one Clark Terry. Maybe some of you know that. If you don't, it's one of those desert island records. <laughs> remember that. Oscar Peterson plus one Clark Terry. Get it. You will thank me. It's so good. And uh, that opened my eyes. And you know, I was blessed to be able to later in life meet the man. Uh, play music with him, record with him, and really be um, kind of be close to him in, in a beautiful musician kind of way. Uh, he would see me, and I, I really think sometimes if he didn't immediately remember my name, he still would use the nickname that he gave me. He gave everybody a nickname. My nickname name was Bass Face. So thank you for that, Clark. But more than anything, thank you for your love, your, your life, your spirit. We played a number of his to open called Top and Bottom. I think that I'm probably uh, more qualified to introduce the next number than anybody else. It's called One Foot in the Gutter.
All right, how y'all doing? Yeah. All right, yeah. Thanks for coming out and celebrating with us. Um, when I was young, my dad heard me, or my dad took me to hear Clark Terry, and I heard him play mumbles, and that was, that was it for me. It just made sense. Um, so later in high school, I was invited to the Clark Terry Jazz Camp that was in Edmond, Oklahoma. I lived in Oklahoma at the time. And uh, I was invited, and I stood in the back of the room with my alto, and Mr. Terry pointed to me and said, you, do you want to sit in? Do you want to play? I was nervous. <laughs> so I took my alto up there, and you know, you don't say no. So I took my alto up there, and he counted off a tune, and I didn't know it. It was Scrapple, Scrapple from the Apple. Um, I hadn't learned that yet. So years later, I was in New York, and I went to the Vanguard, and I had my horn. And Clark walks through the audience, and he sees me, and he goes, you're the girl who didn't know Scrapple. <laughs> so I guess that would be my nickname, if I had one. Right. <laughs> but then he asked me to sit in again which was great because this time I knew the tunes and I was ready. <laughs> so we had a great time and I went to sit in with him and visit him um, on the Sunday night sets at the Vanguard, you know, and ever since. So for Clark, uh, we're gonna play Scrapple from the Apple.
Carol Cassidy, y'all. Yeah. Yes, indeed. All right. Now, uh, I hope y'all in for a little bit of fun and a little bit of audience participation. Y'all right. ready? Yeah. All right. How many of you are familiar with Clark Terry's mumbles? Yeah. All right, about, about five or six of y'all. That's good. <laughs> All right, so I need you to really pay attention here. All right, Clark had, <laughs> he had many versions of this tune, right? And we found a version, uh, uh, our uh, alumnus of the Clark Terry Ensemble, Sylvia, sent this uh, little recording of Hey Mr. Mumbles to me the other day. And I said, wow, that'd be kind of fun. And uh, I like to sing solo. Solo, you can't hear me sometimes. But, <laughs> but I'm going to jump in there. And I don't expect Clark Terry. You know, but I'll give you the best version of me that I can. <laughs> all right. Now, the words here, the words go like this. All right. Hey, Mr. Mumbles, what do you say? Now, what are they? Hey, Mr. Mumbles, what do you say? That's right. And the, and the melody is kind of, hey, Mr. Mumbles, what do you say? All right. Try that. Hey, hey Mr. Mumbles, what do you say? And then I say a little something. Da -da 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 all of that. And then you go, that, no, and then after that, then after that you go, that's what he said. All right, let's hear that. That's what he said. Let's try that on the A section. Can we do it real quick? Yeah. All right, here we go. One, two, a one, two, three. Hey, Mr. Mumbles, what do you say? Then I say a whole bunch of stuff. That's what I'm going to say. I'm going to do all kind of stuff like that. All right, and then you go. That's what he said. Oh, perfect. Oh, my gosh. All right, so far, y'all got a B plus. <laughs> well, let's go ahead and get to that A, all right? Now we got the bridge that's coming, all right? And all you got to do is say, did you say? What you got to say? Did you say? Let's try that real quick, all right? Yeah. One, a two, a one, two, three. Did, did you say? Well, I just didn't say that. No, 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 I didn't say that. All right? When I pointed, you say, did you say? Did you say? No, 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 no. Then we're going to have a little break. Boom. All right? And then you're going to come back in and you're going to say, hey, Mr. Mumbles. Hey, Mr. Mumbles, what do you say? And I'll do all kind of stuff like that. All right? And then you're going to come back in and you're going to say, that's what he said. Y'all ready for it? That's what he said. Yeah. All right. Give yourselves a round of applause. All right. Fantastic. Now, y'all ready to get into this and have a little fun with us? Now, we need you to loosen up now. Now, I see a whole lot of water on the table. <laughs> oh, not you. All right, go ahead. Turn down for what? Turn down for what? <laughs> All right. Fantastic. Let's start off with this fantastic rhythm section. Aren't they amazing? All right, here we go. All right, go ahead, drink some water, loosen up your vocal cords, because we're going to get into it. All right, now, now don't try to figure out what I'm going to say now, because you're not going to know. Or maybe you will. Are right, you ready? Here we go. Hey, Mr. Mumble. Hey, Mr. I said, show do bumper, you do did this, ho 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 there you go. Show me, hear me, hear me, 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 Hey, Mr. Mumble. I said, show him that time. Over the whole hip hop. I'm going to skip over the other way. I'm going to get out. 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 I'm
Now I want y'all to try to do a little call and response. Is y'all gonna be y'all gonna be all right doing that? Y'all ready? Just repeat after me. All right, we're gonna do it. Show about the bed, you that. Show about the bed, you don't need. Show about the bed, you don't pay. Show about the don't quick bed, day. Shut it up, put it up. Shut it up, put it up. Oh, show the boy that that. Show the boy that that. Show the boy that that. You know that. Bop, 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 Show me the love, 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 Hey, Mr. Monk. All right, y'all. Y'all do it again. I said, so boom, ba, boom, ba, boom, ba, we, 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 now hold on a minute. Now y'all know some of the people, 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 Thank you so much. Now you have all the secrets to all the back, back room deals in Congress.
I, if I can just interject, I, I, I would love to hear your connection to Clark Terry and then kind of do a, a pass the mic thing and then same thing with Brother Jones here and, and then Sister Quinka Quinks. Yeah. You can give us the story behind all of that. Yeah. It's perfect time. Oh, take this one. Here, take my mic, please. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's such a privilege to be on stage with all of these marvelous musicians in celebration of Clark Terry. I only had a few uh, brief interactions with Mr. Terry, uh, one in particular uh, at my time in school, in university, and uh, he came to do a master class. And I, I remember uh, something very brief. He, he said, he, he rolled, uh, rolled on stage when he was going to say something, and he said, the golden years suck. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, at, at this time, he probably was in his, uh, I suppose, in his late 80s. But even being at that age, he was so full of life and he was so generous with his time. And, you know, he really embodied and lived what it mean, means uh, to, to, to be a, a musician, a great jazz musician, and a human being. And um, yeah. so, once again, Clark Terry. Well, my relationship with uh, CT began when I was 16 years old by way of my mentor, Dennis Reynolds, who was uh, mentored by Clark Terry. And um, Dennis would always tell me at his little studio, which was actually a pretty crappy, rundown old store <laughs> with records in it, he would always say, "You know, Sean, you listening to Wynton Marcellus and Roy Hargrove and all them, all them new folks. You need to go back and listen to Clark Terry." And I said, "Okay, Uncle Dennis. All right, whatever. You know, well, I got to listen to that old stuff. You know how young people are, <laughs> you know." But he had a stack of Clark Terry records, and I would put them on. And my favorite one was "Serenade to a Bus Seat." Y'all familiar with that one? That's my favorite one. But later on, I would have the opportunity to speak to Mr. Terry. And I first spoke to him or met him on the phone. And we began to talk, and we had some conversation about the trumpet. And he asked me who I was studying the trumpet with. And I mentioned a few people, and I mentioned Marcus Belgrave. And he immediately said, well, you need to call Marcus Belgrave and ask him this stuff. You know, you got to talk to Marcus. And so for a while, I thought he was just blowing me off. But he had reverence to Marcus as his, with, with my relationship with Marcus, and he didn't want to get in the way of that. Now I understand that, because it's all a big family tree. Um, Clark Terry begot Dennis Reynolds, who begot me, who I will hopefully have the chance to pass it on to the next generations. And that's what it's about. And CT understood that. So. Much love, CT, for blessing all of us. Good evening. How's, that, how's everyone doing? All right. Um, it's a thrill and honor to be part of this centennial celebration for Clark Terry. And um, I'm just also thrilled to be sharing the bandstand with these great musicians. Um, I met Clark around 1990 at the Village Vanguard. Um, he was known for letting young musicians sit in on the last night of his run. So I went down on a Sunday night and I sat in, I played a couple tunes and after he asked me for my phone number and then two weeks later he called me for a Grammy party in New York and he kept calling me and uh, I had no idea at all that, that sitting in that night was gonna lead to a 17 year run with, with his quintet. That was life changing. Yeah. We traveled the world and, and um, together, and we had some, some of the best times of my life um, uh, with that band. Um, Clark, from day one, he was genuinely kind and encouraging and supportive. And um, he was jazz royalty and um, an extraordinary human being with a big heart and a crazy sense of humor, too. Um, and I just feel uh, really uh, uh, 
I was truly blessed to, to have an opportunity to be mentored by him and to share the bandstand with, with the, the great Clark Terry. And um, I'm just uh, uh, honored to be here uh, honoring him tonight. So thank you. Yeah. We're going to finish the set with uh, uh, Somewhere Over the Rainbow. Thank you.
on the saxophone, Cheryl Cassidy. That's Sean Jones on trumpet, Sean Jones. Sylvia Quinka on drums, Sylvia Quinka, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for being here. We love you, we'll see you again, thank you. Clark Terry Centennial Celebration, ladies and gentlemen. Sean Jones, Sherelle Cassidy, Aaron Deal, John Clayton, Sylvia Quinta.